High English 9, on to Act 2, <coughs> excuse me, of Romeo and Juliet. Um, so in Act 1, we found out that Romeo liked Rosaline, but she wasn't interested in getting married. And then Benvolio decided that the best way to get Romeo over her was to see new girls. Um, Paris asked Juliet's dad if he could marry her, and Juliet's dad said, if she agrees to it, I'm not opposed, but remember, she's only 13, almost 14. Um, and he, Juliet's dad tells Paris, you should go to my party and see other girls. And so that's what sets up scene five. I think it's scene five, the last scene of the act. Um, additionally, the play starts with the fight between the Capulets and the Montagues in the streets of Verona. So obviously that's foreshadowing violence. Um, it doesn't probably start with violence if it's not going to contain additional violence. So we know that that's probably going to happen eventually. Um, and then at the end of the act, Romeo and Juliet meet and they fall in love at first sight. Um, per very nearly before they even speak. And um, then they both find out that the person they are in love with is a member of the family that their family despises. And then Romeo leaves the party before it breaks up completely. Um, <coughs> excuse me. In this scene, which is act two, scene one. Um, the YouTube video, just watch it until 156 because 156 is actually going to start with act two, scene two, um, which is the famous balcony scene is scene two. But this one is pretty brief. Um, I'm looking at No Fear Shakespeare and you do have the chorus come in again and they're just like, job is to make sure that you've understood what you've seen so far and to give you a preview of what's going to come soon. So um, our chorus reminds us that the play started with Romeo liking Rosaline, but now he likes Juliet and he's pretty much forgotten about Rosaline. But the chorus reminds us that the big difference here is that um, Juliet loves Romeo back. And I would say yes. That is a pretty big difference. Um, so I'm now going to go to, oops. Okay, so that took you to Act 2, Prologue. And then next section will be Act 2, Scene 1. I've included them together. My No Fear Shakespeare doesn't work. Hold on just a second. Bear with me, guys. Sorry about this. Let's go back to the table of contents. There we go. Now I'm there. Okay. So, um, Benvolio and Mercutio are chasing Romeo because Romeo has ditched them. Um, Romeo is not ready to leave. He thinks that there's probably still a chance that he can meet and speak with Julia, and so he kind of runs away from them or runs ahead of them and hides. Um, so Mercutio is giving Romeo a hard time, and um, of course Mercutio still thinks that Romeo loves Rosaline. He doesn't know that Juliet's in the picture yet. And um, Mercutio says... I will conjure him. And to conjure means to um, make appear through magic. So he thinks that he can use Rosaline's magic to make Romeo appear. And he um, conjures Romeo, attempts to, by Rosaline's bright eyes and her um, high forehead, her scarlet lip, um, her fine foot, her straight leg, and quivering thigh. So we're, you know, looking at or talking about her thighs. 
and then the territory, which is Demisness, that their adjacent lies to her thighs. So he's talking dirty about Roseline, thinking that that will make Romeo um, angry enough to come out of where he is and appear. Um, okay, I'm gonna. Okay, at the bottom of page two. Um, Benvolio says, go then, for tis in vain to seek him here that means not to be found. So as long as Romeo doesn't want him, want us to find him, we're not going to find him. And then they took off. And so that really is the whole scene. It just sets us up for um, Romeo to get rid of Benvolio and Mercutio so that he can see Juliet again. So I'm going to go ahead and post this. I'll probably just do one question since it's so brief. And then I'll move on to Act 2, Scene 2, which is the famous balcony scene immediately after this one.